Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve question number four, and we are solving the first part of question number four. You have to simplify this expression, and after that, you have to find the value of the same expression when x is equal to three and when x is equal to one upon two. Means, after simplifying this, you have to substitute the value of x as three. Then you have to calculate the value of this expression. Now after that you have to substitute the value of x as one by two. Then you have to find the value of this expression. Now let's first of all simplify this. The expression is this. So first of all we have to open the bracket. For that we have to multiply this because whenever the bracket is there, it is considered multiplying. So three x. When you have to open this bracket, you have to multiply three x with four x. As well as with five, because I have already discussed, if there are two terms inside the bracket, you have to multiply this with both the terms. So for that, three x is multiplied by four x, and after that, minus three x will be multiplied with five, and the sec the remaining thing, which is plus three, will remain as it is. Now to multiply, we know that. Like terms are multiplied. Constant will be multiplied with constant, and variable will be multiplied with variable. So because the variable, the base are same, so the power will be added. So one power plus one power will become two, and here the constant will be multiplied fifteen with a variable. So simplifying this will give the value as this. Now you have to find the value when the x is three. It means in the first case you have to substitute the value of x as three, and the so obviously this instead of x we can write three. So this will be twelve multiplied by three square minus fifteen into three, and this is plus three. So this will be the values. Now further solving this. This will be twelve multiplied by nine, and this is fifteen multiplied by three is forty-five plus three. So this will be twelve into nine is one zero eight. This is forty-five, and this is three. So according to board mass, we we have to add first. For that, we have to add the numbers. The sign before them is plus. So this value and this value. Will be added. So one zero eight plus three is one 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 minus forty five. So one 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 minus forty five will be. This is eleven minus five is six, and ten minus four is six. So sixty six will be the answer. And the for the second case, we have to substitute the value of x as one by two. So Instead of x, we have to write one by two. So this will be twelve one by two whole square minus fifteen, and this will be one by two, and this will be three. Further solving this, this will become twelve multiplied by one by two whole square means one square is one and two square is four, and this is fifteen by two plus three. So this can be cancelled. Three. So here the answer will be three minus fifteen by two plus three. So this and this can be added according to board mass. So three plus three is six minus fifteen by two. So to solve the fraction, we know that we have to take the LCM. So LCM of two and one is two. So this will be. Two is divided by one. The equation will be two multiplied by six is it is twelve, and this will remain as it is. So this will become minus three upon two. So for the second part, minus three upon two will be the answer. So this is how we can solve this question. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. And if you have any problem in maths, you can contact us. The phone number, the website address, and the email address is given below in the description. Thank you.